Hi, welcome to another video. So, Claude Dev is now Klein. Yes, I'm not kidding. The name of Claude Dev has now been changed to Klein. So, let's talk about it. If you remember, Claude Dev hasn't received any updates for the last two weeks. I guess that this was because a significant change was coming, and I was right. The next major release would change it to version 2, which generally marks a major shift for most applications. And now, it has been renamed to Klein. This name change comes from the fact that it's no longer just for Claude Dev, because it can now use multiple providers, not just Claude. And I think that's great to see. So, if you guys watched any of my previous videos on Claude Dev, just remember, it's now called Klein. Anyway, the tool itself largely remains the same. By the way, the name Klein can be expanded to mean Cli and Editor, which is why it's called Klein. Klein has also received a bunch of new features. So, let's talk about those, and then we'll test them out. Version 2 brings updates that significantly improve performance across other models, making it a great opportunity to give the extension its own identity. One major feature is that you no longer have to stare at loading spinners. Responses are now streamed directly into the editor with a yellow text decoration animation, allowing you to track Klein's progress as it edits files. It's like a line-by-line -line animation, which is cool to see. Beyond that, with the new streaming feature, you can now cancel mid-generation and give Klein feedback if it's heading in the wrong direction. This gives you more control over tasks, resulting in faster, more accurate results. This is a great feature, because now it's much more controllable, something I really wanted. Additionally, it now takes 40% fewer requests to accomplish tasks and has better performance with other models. This really shows what the developer has done to improve the tool. I've read the details. And previously, the extension relied heavily on the tool calling API feature that companies like Anthropic and OpenAI provide. This meant that models needed to be trained on tool usage, and the API also needed to support it. That's why, in the past, models that didn't support tool calling, like DeepSeek, couldn't be used. But now, the developers have adopted a prompt based approach to using tools similar to what Ader does. So, the system prompt now handles the tool, and the models return code in XML tags, which reduces cost, iterations, and makes it all around better. The developer even shared a chart showing how usability and iterations have improved, and it's now much more compatible with models that previously didn't work. You no longer need to worry about whether a model is tool compatible which is something I've always wanted. It's very close to what Ader does now. Anyway, now you can also use any model you want from OpenRouter, including the free models, which is amazing. The license has also been changed from MIT to Apache 2, which I think is good, especially after seeing what happened with projects like Continue. It's better to safeguard open source by using a license that's a bit more restrictive preventing companies from forking the source without giving credit. I've got a full video on the Pair AI controversy in the Members Only section, so be sure to check that out. I also regularly update that section with great content, so consider becoming a member to support the channel. The developer also mentioned that they're now working on Klein full-time and are excited to keep improving the extension. I really like this tool, and am thrilled with how well things are going. I hope it keeps getting better. Anyway, let's try it out. First, open up VS Code, go to Extensions, and if you already have Claude Dev installed, just update it. It should now say Klein. Once you've updated it, open Klein, and we can start using it. Let's go step by step. First. 
head to the settings. In the settings, you'll see the same providers. But if you select Open Router, you'll now be able to use all the models available on Open Router, including the free ones. Just type free, and you'll see all the free models listed, which is great. Beyond that, the settings remain the same. You can now also use DeepSeek with it for very low costs. I'll be using it with DeepSeek going forward. Plus, I still have that free $20 credit they gave everyone when they launched DeepSeek. I made a video about that too, if you remember, before they removed the offer. Anyway, to configure it, just select the OpenAI compatible API. Enter the DeepSeek API base URL along with the model name and API key, and save it. You can also use it via Open Router if you want. Now, let's move on to the next features. We can check them out by asking Klein to do something. Let's ask it to make a simple to-do app using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. All right, it's generating the code now. You can see that the code is streamed directly into the file on the right, which wasn't the case before. You used to have to wait for the full code to generate. Now it's much smoother, and there's even a nice animation. You can also cancel the generation midway if it seems like it's going in a direction you don't want. That's really handy. You might notice it's a bit slow because I'm using DeepSeek, but that's fine with me since it's so cheap. Let's give it a minute. And it's done. Let's run it and see how it works. Okay, it's running pretty well. This is great to see. Also, if you check the cost with DeepSeek, it's less than a cent. This really gives Cursor a run for its money when used with DeepSeek, which offers similar performance to Claude at a fraction of the cost. These are the major updates to Claude Dev. It's now more affordable thanks to the new prompt system, and it's more intuitive, supporting all kinds of models, even those without tool calling capabilities. I think it's just fantastic to use. So overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below, or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.